Hey there, Dominic here. I wanted to clarify something from pre previous videos when I talked about curve extrude. Curve extrude, Bezier extrude and pen extrude in combination with the profile. Now first of all I'm going to choose another profile, this one for instance. In previous videos when I checked reverse Y it wasn't very clear that it actually does make a difference. So when I press reverse Y you can see in the viewport that there is a slight shift over here so it does reverse this curve in Y. Now with this profile that isn't very noticeable because it is fairly symmetrical. It's not completely symmetrical but fairly symmetrical and that's why the reverse Y doesn't seem to do much. But when I choose a profile which is not symmetrical. Now when I press reverse Y you see it shifts the geometry in Y. And I can but I don't have to also invert my polygons. So in this case I have inverted the polygons and reversed in Y. So this was my original. Now reverse X also shifts the geometry and now you can see these polygons they are flat if you will whereas with reverse Y they stay vertical so it's, it's reverse Y shifts the geometry in a certain way and reverse X also shifts the geometry in another way. And again, if I reverse X, I also can invert polygons. But I don't have to. It all depends on your needs. The same with the previous profile. I can reverse it in X. And this could be, for instance, geometry for a roller coaster for the wheels of a roller coaster. So I don't have to invert my polygons. It all depends on what you want to achieve. So reverse X and reverse Y do make a difference. You can see it better like this. Reverse Y. It does shift my polygons but it's more noticeable with profiles that aren't as symmetrical as this one. Hope this clarifies things a bit more because I feel that I didn't explain this very much in previous video. Hope you find it useful. Bye for now. This was Dominic.